Well, good evening, everyone. This is a beautiful spring evening here in Sammamish, Washington. And thanks for joining again. This is Coach Kevin McCarthy, and I'm here to tell you a water safety story from a while back when I lived in La Jolla, California with the family. And I had the awesome blessing of being able to swim four to five days a week after work. Uh, we'd take the kids down to the beach. Sometimes I would meet them down there. I'd ride my bike down, swim about a mile, and ride back. And one, uh, one week, I knew I was going to have a very busy afternoon and evening. And so I decided to get up very early in the morning before work, right at dawn, and ride my bike down. Um, and this was in the late fall, maybe early October. And the water was dead flat. It was a heavy cloud cover, no wind, flat water, very warm um, fall morning. An El Nino year, basically meaning there were very warm currents coming up from the uh, um, lower waters of uh, Mexico, the coast of uh, Baja, that would come up and really warm the waters up nicely in Southern California. So the water was maybe 78 degrees, very, very comfortable. I got down there and what surprised me is there was nobody there. Um, naturally, most people were at work and people were down enjoying the beach yet because it was very early in the morning and cloudy. I'd usually go in the evening, it was quite crowded. I would swim the cove, swim about a half a mile out and a half a mile back, straight out into the open water and then back in and um, always with the safety of a lot of other people in the water with me. And I went out that day and I was the only one on the beach. And I decided I really wanted to get a swim in, so I went on my own, maybe against my better judgment. Um, but I was pretty fresh, hadn't swam in a day or two and uh, knew I had a lot of energy. So away I went and uh, it was cloudy, so a very gray day and the water was dark, but it was very clear. You could see very far, maybe 50 to 75 feet. In the water so you could see quite a bit a ways out in front and uh, so I swam very briskly out to the second buoy um, which is about a half a mile and just when I turned I noticed that the sun was coming up and so I was looking into even though it was a cloudy day it was I was looking into a very bright sky um, and so everything in front of me would have been kind of in the shadows because the sun was very low and shining right back toward me as I was coming back to the beach and so I was swimming very briskly and very still, very flat water, beautiful, beautiful morning, warm water. Um, and I could see the sun rays coming through the water um, and kind of glistening through the water um, from above me and then streaming down below me. It was quite spectacular and beautiful. And as I was still at least a good third of a mile from the beach, I noticed as I was swimming, some very big dark shadows in front of me coming in from my right side coming in very slowly into my view and then stopping about 75 feet in front of me and I couldn't tell exactly what it was I just knew they were very big and very close to the top surface of the water and as soon as they saw me I saw them and we both stopped dead in our tracks and it went, unfortunately, it was a silhouette. I couldn't really make out the type of fish that it was. And so naturally, I was very nervous. Occasionally, there are, not too often, but occasionally there are sharks in the cove, but there are also dolphins. And, uh, and so I remained motionless, but yet so did these other two large objects, one just right in front of the other. And so we were both just kind of drifting and they were kind of, they must have been slowly swimming because they were drifting more in front of me, in front of me. And um, then I started to make out the profile and I was getting close enough to them that I could make out more than just their silhouette. And it turned out to be these two enormous, um, I believe they were, they were, I know they were tuna. I don't know to this day whether they were bluefin or yellowfin tuna. Maybe somebody can email in and tell me what they were in La Jolla. But uh, the water was very warm, as I said, in El Nino year. So we don't often get tuna that close in Southern California. Usually they're farther down and farther in warmer waters. But uh, 
they were enormous. They must have been who knows how big. But as soon as I realized that they were tuna and they weren't after me, um, I swam vigorously towards shore because um, my adrenaline was going really, really high at that point in time. But going towards shore was swimming right toward them. And as soon as they realized that I was bolting right toward them, they just in an explosion, boom, were gone just that fast. And um, I'd never seen such a bolt of action from a fish in the water in my life, but uh, quite spectacular. So naturally, um, I had plenty of adrenaline to get back to the beach, had another third of a mile to swim. I remember that to this day. And so I just wanted to share with you um, that adventure. Um, maybe don't do what I did that time. Um, take a buddy with you, especially if you're going to swim in the morning, because odds are it's not going to be too crowded and there's definitely not going to be a lifeguard um, there, to, there to protect you. So I was lucky and fortunate, but I think uh, I was blessed that morning because I was given a scare and given the opportunity to realize that it would have been much better to be with somebody else than to be by myself in the water. So hope you take that to heart and uh, have a great Memorial Day weekend. Talk to you later. Keep safe. Bye-bye.